hello guys so today uh, I have a uh, topics so how to call um, my razor view elements uh, into the JavaScript so normally we know that uh, so uh, here um, I have the viewback uh, data uh, that uh, key called the uh, test data in that I just um, have um, bold uh, go freelancer so uh, that is a raw element so I just declared and I just uh, defined in the view that is displaying like this but I have a question that how to uh, call uh, this uh, view back into my JavaScript see I have a requirement I want to alert uh, this view back data so how to achieve uh, today I going to show you in a simple way so I'm not going to show you com complicated here so only uh, the data which is in a view back how to uh, bind it uh, in some variable and I am going to alert that variable so the by the way uh, you can uh, take uh, uh, the models as well so I will explain you that okay I writing a script uh, type JavaScript okay so here I am declaring one variable called something called a result this result I going to alert uh, um, uh, means I going to store my VBAC data so I want to so simply you can pass it over here this result okay I just uh, going to alert us to see uh, whether uh, my VBAC uh, got uh, added in a JavaScript uh, variable. Okay, fine. So let me go and uh, refresh my page. Okay, I just refresh. It should alert me the Go Freelancer. So that is what the expectation Yes, it's uh, alerting me the bold Go Freelancer so uh, this is the way to achieve that so uh, by using the add rate symbol directly and uh, you can because now razor view normally it will help us to define our uh, c -sharp code in a script directly so that is what uh, here so hopes you understand so you can uh, try even the model uh, so uh, if you have your model collections uh, you can directly define model uh, dot uh, whatever the title whatever the model that you can pause and you can get it uh, through the JavaScript easily so hopes you understand you can try the same for a uh, different scenarios if you have any doubt queries please comment us so it is a simple tutorial uh, to understand how uh, the razor view element whatever the data that uh, I'm binding from the controller to view that I need to push to the JavaScript so hopes you understand thanks for watching the video guys